Hello everybody and welcome back to some more of the Mega Modded Gungeon series. We are jumping in once again and I have been told to go and enable this. Which for some reason doesn't highlight when you get near it which is slightly strange. But anyways, Toggle or Oberos. This is a mode that has been in the game for a while, but apparently has recently been made better. I don't know if it was recently or whatever. But anyways, Ouroboros. It's some sort of rerun mode that increases the difficulty as we play runs. I'm interested to see how it goes. Also, someone said do a blessed run, and I haven't done one of those in quite possibly over a year, maybe even over two. So we're going to do that now, and we're going to jump into a run. We'll say, blessed runs are a little risky because I genuinely don't know if it might break. Because if we get a modded gun that just doesn't for some reason work with blessed runs, it could be problematic. But, I'm willing to give it a try because the ability to see more guns sounds really, really fun. Also, if it goes well, I can tell Alexa that he should do it too and that could be quite fun. Um, a Rob Ross level zero. Huzzah, that's stuck to our face now. But yeah, so from my understanding of Ouroboros, which is limited, I think when we win a run, our net, our, it increases our Ouroboros level and our next run is going to be a little bit harder or have like a specific modifier on it, which sounds like it's going to be similar to Crucible or like Slay the Spire Ascension levels, stuff like that. Um, oh, we got a finger gun. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to see how this goes. Now chests are still somewhat valuable in uh, in bless mode, which is good because we um ooh hello needle bullets would be rather good. I'm probably gonna try and get needle bullets. Yup. Uh, but yeah, I'm playing as a swindler here because for one he's really fun, but also two uh, I thought a character that has easy access to a lot of money. Um, what the hell? There's a there's a corpse here that I can't I can't get past. What the heck? This corpse is like a brick. What the hell's going on there? Um, ooh, okay. That's new. Oh, wow, okay. So that's one of the things on a Ouroboros, I think. I think it's some sort of champion. We already did have champions in Frost and Gunfire, but I think there's more now. More styles or types of champions. Interesting. Um, where did you come from? Okay, I'm intrigued. Color me intrigued thus far. So far, the blessing stuff is, is pretty fun here. I'm liking that, yeah. So, oh, that guy, that guy has the curse on him. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna like this. Rob Ross mode sounds fun. In no way in hell I'm taking that challenge on this run. Um, for multiple reasons. One of which is that I currently think that that mode could do with a little bit of a rebalance. That whole thing. I like it, I think it's a cool challenge, but I think the blue bubbly bits, whatever you want to call them, um, I could do with a little bit of work in terms of um, the reward that you get for one being a little more guaranteed. Um, oh, hell. I want to see, does that, I, I want to find out if that heals us or not. Um, but yeah, with the reward being a little more guaranteed, it seems a bit random and I got a really bad reward, whereas on Alexa, uh, Alexa's video, he got a really good one, so... Might be worth it being a bit more guaranteed. Also, the visibility on the blue floor is currently a little bit balked, in my opinion. And, I know I feel like I'm piling on here, but I'm trying to give some constructive feedback. Um, the other thing is that I feel the um, the the blue orbs are, uh, disappear once the room's over. Or something along those lines. This is really cool. I'm, I'm liking this already. I'm always up for more challenge in Gungeon, um, and that's exactly what we've got here. I'm going to try and get all of this without taking too much more damage. But yeah, there's, there's a chance that we get stuck with certain guns for a little bit longer than we'd hoped for. What the fuck is this thing? So, there seems to be some sort of either champion type or bug where enemies don't die correctly, and I'm not sure which it is, because that is rather strange. Yeah, I don't know what this thing is. It it seems to be firing invisible projectiles. Okay. We may have found our first broken gun, people. Because this thing does absolutely nothing. Yeah, this thing does literally nothing. I have lost all my money, and I have died. Yeah, okay, so... 
there's going to be some issues. I, I'm, I'm fairly sure weapons do eventually re-roll if it's been, like, a certain amount of time. But I lost all my money there, so that was just a give up run anyways. I'm sli sli slightly, slightly sad that I'm losing out on the needle bullets there, though. But hey ho, it is what it is. Um, we're going to just carry on and try another run. But the modifiers so far seem pretty cool. I'm interested to see how they scale with the Ouroboros levels. I have absolutely no idea how many levels it goes, how deep it gets. But I would expect it to be 20. I'd expect the like ascension levels would be 20. But that seems quite high, so maybe not. I don't know. But we'll hope that doesn't happen again with a similar weapon. Because the, the problem with what happened there, and I don't actually know if this is the case, but there are certain guns um, and items in Gungeon that are in the game, but are in the excluded tier. But those guns and items can be gotten via the blessing. So you can get some guns and items that you aren't meant to be able to get, uh, which is why situations like that pop up. That gun very well may have been an unfinished uh, piece of code, an unfinished weapon that never actually did, like got to the point where it was going to do anything, and it got added to the game um, in the excluded tier so it would never show up on a real run, but it can still show up on this. So That could have been what happened there. It could just be that the gun itself is balked. It could just be that I completely understood how the gun works. There's many, many, many probabilities for, for what could have happened. fan here. I think the fan's normally meant to have some visible projectile. I'm not quite sure why it doesn't. I like the way the desk fan has the same sound as the balloon gun, uh, despite the fact that the balloon gun's reload sound is like squeaking plastic from the balloon or latex, is it? What are, the balloon what are balloons made out of? I don't know what balloons are made out of. Is it plastic? Is it latex? I don't know what it is. It's some sort of material. But, I'm excited to see how this goes. And yeah, I want to see what increases with our Ouroboros level. Because I'm sure it could get pretty wacky down the line. And I am well up for more difficulty in Gungeon. I've always said that. As much as it may seem that I am incredibly bad at this game recently. Um... I still would like that, nonetheless. Hello. Um... Hmm. Let's see if I can get a key first, because Mimic Tooth Necklace would be real good. Oh, wait. I don't think I can get that. I don't think I can get keys regardless. I don't think I can get keys anyway, so I think the Mimic Tooth Necklace is going to be pretty hard. Guess that's fine. We've got the composite gun here. A gun I haven't trifled with in a while. I will do the boss with it, just in case. It might re-roll. No, it didn't. Good. Sometimes your gun re-rolls as you enter the fight. This is also a really high damage weapon, so there's a good chance we, we don't have it for long. But we get taken over to the sling. Okay. Good guns thus far. Oh, still a good gun, the Mahogany. It's giving us a lot of vanilla guns so far. But let's not disparage it, considering it's giving us good stuff. Right, taken out. Nope, not taken out. There you go. Got him. Do not mind that at all. Yeah, unfortunately, no key for us. Um, something weird's going on. The gun's still there, even though I just picked it up. What's that about? We got two keys. And we can't even. But can I just use you anyways? This is... This is bullshit of the highest degree, and you know it is. Okay, I re-rolled the shop into nothing. Gotta say I'm not too happy about that. That's just another gun. Uh, what the hell is going on right now? 
something fishy's going on here. I have to say, I would suspect it's to do with the Rob Ross mode, just because that's the only new thing I'm doing. I mean, Bless mode is, is new, but I can't imagine it being that. But I don't, I don't know. Table tech table. This is pretty weird. Pretty weird. I don't really know what's going on right now. I seem to have broken things in ways that I cannot explain. But we push on to the next floor and we see what happens there. So far, though, the blessed run's pretty fun. I like being able to see all these new weapons and stuff. I just wish we could get more passive items is all. Lovely. There's a chest that we might as well open. That is a Daft Punk. Don't remember what that does. Let's have a check. Helmet has a gorgeous silver shine. Unfortunately, it only has a single right earphone and half of the lyrics um, to its song are coming out. Who knows? It did give us some damage. I can accept damage. Good, good. Ooh, the dragon fire now. Seems like we're getting a good mix between uh, modded and non-modded now, actually. Don't care too much for that. Lewis. Ooh, Lewis is interesting. I wouldn't be able to barter anymore. Hello. Why not? Not really what I was expecting, but I guess I'll take the glass. Defiler! Ah! Defile all of it. I think I've made mistakes here, haven't I? Didn't really think this was what was going to happen, I'll be honest. Things were going reasonably well for a while there. Can you stop giving me absolutely dog shit weaponry, please? Don't even know what to say about that. I did. I literally did that to myself. I didn't think it would spawn four bosses. I thought it would power up a single boss. I thought it was like, okay, I kill this one, and it spawns the dude, and I defile each one of them, and it powers up the boss. Like the hegemony credit dude, the HM Prime. And then I could fight him for some rewards, but it didn't really work that way. It just spawned four bosses, and I got two really awful guns back to back that essentially did nothing to help me kill those bosses. I did manage to stay, it's like spend a decent amount of time without getting hit, but unfortunately... Because I had the glass, um, the glass pain, which I didn't really want, I'll be honest. I couldn't really do much about it. The, um, the, the selection of choices from the thingy rooms, from the, the portal rooms, still needs to be upped quite a bit, in my opinion. There's, there's way too much repeating of the same stuff. I, I really like what's in it already. But it, it, it's it's gotten very, very samey. And the, the fact that, like, you'll get a shop and it'll have, like, three of the same thing in it is kind of hilarious. I'm hoping that gets expanded upon at some point. Gotcha. Whoa. That's a big sniper right there. Again, do the boss while we have the big sniper. Goddamn bushes in the way. Um, I can no longer dodge roll.
Is this a bug or is this part of a Rob Ross mode? Because if it's part of a Rob Ross mode, this should have been spelled out to me when I entered this boss fight. Is it going to end when I when I end the boss fight? No, it's not. I just can't dodge roll anymore. I'm going to guess that it was something to do with that spear weapon that I had. This has all gone quite awry, hasn't it? where I can't dodge roll. How bizarre. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Absolutely nothing I could do to dodge that there. The typewriter. I love it. Really? You're going to give me alien engine for these enemies? Seems a little unfair. Okay, not particularly happy with how things are going thus far. Not particularly happy at all. I also hate the icebreaker. That's more like it. Snake gun. And a goddamn brown chest. Alright, give me clown bullets though. I can accept clown bullets. Alright, get me the hell out of this hellscape floor. I wonder if I'm able to roll when I get to the next floor. Yeah, blessed mode seems balked. Bless mode is balked. It really is. It really is. Oh god, there's a lot of scary red text in my, uh, in my weapon log, whatever you want to call it. Right, I still can't dodge rule. What's this red thing? There's a lot of red things about. I'm guessing that's something to do with the snake gun, the little pellets that it eats. Not quite sure what. Um, I can't get over that pit. <laughs> Better hope I don't have to go that way. I didn't really think about this. There's now some rooms that I quite literally cannot get through. Get a clown guy. Your time is up, fella. This has been just a shockingly bad episode thus far. What on earth is this gun? Whoa! What is this? It turns everything dark. I do not like this weapon. It's very cool, but goddamn, I'm scared. It's gone now. Don't worry, we don't have to fear it anymore. Right, walk through the spores. the hell's this? I don't know what this is. Ow. Um, 
I have died, but I am not dead. I can no longer control- What is happening? <laughs> so many things have broken. This has been a truly odd experience. <laughs> Don't play blessed, blessed mode. I, I, I have to think it's blessed mode and not Ouroboros that's causing these issues. I have to think. Um, because I, I just feel like Ouroboros couldn't possibly cause this much damage, especially considering it was recently updated. So, Bunny, I will not put this on you. I'll put it on blessed mode all the way. That is the culprit. But there's, there's some strangeities happening here to the highest of degrees. I'm going to give it one more go, but I have to admit, not super jazzed about our chances anymore. Considering, oh, well, I've already been hit, so that's good. Beam. I love this shotgun. Whatever shotgun this thing is, this thing fucking slaps. This thing does not slap quite as much. Sadly. Really? You give me the Derringer? How dare you? How dare you Derringer me? This, this weapon's got such low damage as well that it'll... Stick with us for a while. We'll have to use it for a good amount of time. It's always a sad time when that when that comes along. We got the purple flower. The purple pros. Ooh, this recently got resprayed. It looks a lot better now. Nice. Looks a lot lot better now. Okay, the Derringer's gone. Got the barcode scanner now. I can't dodge roll again. What the hell's going on? Just, just a hot minute. If I restart, can I dodge roll? Or is it just permanently that I can't dodge roll now? Have I bricked my game? Can I never do ever dodge roll again? If so, that's going to be a little bit upsetting. <laughs> this has been a super successful Gungeon episode. Let's just find out exactly how broken it is. I'm hoping I can roll when I get into this and it's just some sort of strange changing weapon bug. I can roll! Right. Let's, after every weapon change, let's try rolling. No weapon change. Okay, there you go. Weapon change. We can still roll. We can still roll. This is a very cool weapon. I very much like this thing. We can still roll. Just look at us go. Another cool weapon here. We can still roll. We can still roll. That's the theme of this episode. Can we roll? That guy actually got jammed. What the heck? Best fan go away, thank you. What is going on with these enemies that just, like, don't die? Okay. Let's try and group you guys up so I can get one rocket to kill you all. 
That's better. Do I've got a synergy for this thing? With what item? Just with the character, I guess. <laughs> Good, good, good. Yeah, this is all. This has all been very, very confusing. I've got to be honest. Oh, this this gun's cool. I like this gun. Just the star gun, shovel gun. We could waste some time and dig a bunch of stuff up, but. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to vacuum. Sucked up the ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. I like that. Just wanted to break the chest just because I could. Ow. This is a bad weapon for us to be using for all, like, regular room clearing. Oh, we got the Thunder Fist. What? Can't open that yet. I would like more money, please, to open my chests. Ow. This, this gun is going to be the death of me. Oh my god, I can't use this weapon for shit. <sighs> okay. Don't use that gun. Okay, that's, this, is, this has been... Just a horrendous episode of Enter the Gungeon. I hope you all thoroughly enjoyed that just dumpster fire that you've witnessed there. And I hope that fulfills your daily need somehow. I know this isn't daily Gungeon, but there you go. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy nonetheless. This was an interesting look into what not to do. Um, again, I believe almost all the issues were spawned off of Blessed Mode. I think a Robber Ross mode is clear, but we'll find out in the next episode because I'll try out again in a regular run. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.